iPadOS 17 finally allows the use of webcams and UVC US adapters. In my case, I'm using this as an external monitor for my Linux system, and this works without any hassle. Um, the UVC video grabber is plugged in into the HDMI cable that goes into the notebook. The notebook is connected here to a, a 3-in-1 MST adapter. That means I have five screens connected. One on the right side is the Android as an output uh, with a cheap 2.0 adapter, but you cannot see any lines. The details get fuzzy. It's not a recommendation to get the cheap one. Better get the 3.0 adapter that allows you to read everything. You see all the details. The speed is okay. The color, I'm not sure if this is a color issue of the USB of the iPad, um, but there are differences. If I put it to the computer screen, notebook screen, uh, the colors are different, little details are a little bit different, but it's uh, fully okay. If you look at the text, it's readable, it's okay. Uh, what about black? So if you put it between the screens, the responsiveness is quite good. Compare this to the 2.0 adapter. Colors and details are missing. And there's a little bit laggy with this 3.0 adapter. And the application is called the Janky Studios UVC Viewer. Um, there are two downloads avail applications available in the market. One is this Janky Studio. It allows you to utilize the full screen. The other one is this, the other one is Donald, and uh, Donald leaves you with black bars left and right. It's only 1080p, no settings, so definitely the choice choice to go is Janky Studios UVC Viewer. Uh, before this, we could only use this adapter that outputs to LAN and then use a uh, surveillance camera RTSP adapter and use this as an external screen in that way, but that was way too laggy. Finally, after wait time and some inspira inspirations, we finally got some Reddit users to get us the adapter. So, uh, what is the issue if, in using this? So, between starting and uh, this three minutes of using during the recording, uh, we left, we missed two to four percent of battery life. So, if you only plug it in, plug it in without charging. Um, the battery will be drained very quickly. So get an adapter uh, that has at least one USB input and one charging option. Do not use just the OTG adapters because you cannot charge and as you can see it drains your battery quite fast because it's uh, video uh, camera recording does actually use a lot of computational power. So it's usable. I'm using five screens, two as Android tablets, uh, and the other one as an iPad. It's everything is readable. The eyes don't feel sour. It's pretty okay. Janky Studio, thank you for giving us the free application.